What is going on, Governors? Chiskool here, and today we are going to be talking about getting value when you spend money in this game. That's right, we're going to be doing an evaluation of the things that you can buy and where you can get the best bang for your buck. So hang on to your seats, because this is going to be an interesting ride, and it's going to involve a little bit of math, and we'll try to boil it down to the simplest possible factors to help you make your decisions. Now, I recently purchased this King's Coronation bundle right before the Lion City bundle came out, um, and I sat back and I realized, like, wait a minute. Was this the most value I could have gotten for the money that I spent? Because King's Coronation, everybody seems to think it's the king. But now that the VIP shop exists, you actually can get these items for a really good discount anytime you want. So um, I'll just pull up the VIP shop here. Many of you are, of course, familiar with what is contained within it. The higher your VIP level gets, the more options that become available to you. And I realized that the existence of the VIP shop is one thing that works majorly against the value that is listed in the packs that you see in the super value bundles. And in other places in the game, by the way. Because when they say, for instance, this Lion City is indicating you get 23,300 gems worth of value, that is true if you're paying full price. But you, my friends, don't have to pay full price. And so it's a little bit um, more accurate to think about these bundles a little bit differently. Because you're only getting that amount of gem value if you've already purchased all of the stuff you can get from the VIP shop, because the VIP shop is limited. It refreshes something like once a week, and it contains limited supplies of all of the things that are contained within it. So just to get really concrete on exactly how different the value is that's listed versus the value you can get if you're very, very patient, um, when I purchased that $20 King's Coronation, I think it was it, it was advertised as something like 50,000 gems worth of value. And when I did the math on what it would cost me in the VIP shop, I indicated that it's only like 16,000 gems worth of value. Now, that doesn't include the fact that this thing comes with an alliance chest. My alliance chest happened to have two hours of speed up. And if you account for all 90 members of my alliance getting that two hours of speed up, the uh, $20 bundle was still only 21,500 or so gems worth of value. Now, you might be saying, well, Chiskul, show me the place where you get better value than that. And my friends, this is contained within the Supply Depot. For only 10 bucks, if you can wait for a month to receive all of these gems, you get 19,500 gems. Yes, my friends, this 30-day gem supply, it doesn't look like the most amazing value, but holy cow, it is. It's amazing. Now, there are some exceptions here. If you have not completed your road to greatness or ever made a purchase in this game, um, you will get more value purchasing the things that contribute toward your road to greatness. I don't know what all of those things are off the top of my head, but in-game, it will show you a little info button that will explain it. The supply depot doesn't count. The growth fund, which we'll talk about in a minute, doesn't count, but King's Coronation does. Now, in that case, those King's Coronation bundles look a whole lot better because you get a ton of additional value when you are hitting those critical thresholds. So, if I think that the 30-day gem supply is the very best value, if you can be patient, what else gets you better value than potentially buying a King's Coronation? if you can be patient. And the answer is the growth fund. Now the growth fund, and I'll move my face again so you can see this, um, awards you gems based on the level of your city hall. And it costs something like 15 or 20 bucks, and you are getting a ton of value here if your city hall level is pretty high. Now you're going to have to wait a whole heck of a long time if your city hall is only like level 11, and you're not getting a lot of gems for the amount of money you're spending. In fact, you should just go buy the Supply Depot in that case. But if your City Hall is already in the realm of 19, you're hitting a threshold where you get a lot of gems pretty quickly for the money that you've spent. And um, if you really are serious about making a longer investment in this game, if you're going to be playing this game in the long term, then you start getting really crazy value once you hit like the level 23 
City Hall, and then especially like level 25 is just gangbusters, crazy value. But again, the trade-off here is time for quantity of rewards. That's the trade-off. Um, so if I were to summarize, when you look at the store here, um, if you can be patient, Supply Depot, Growth Fund, very, very high value. If you're in a hurry, Super Value Bundle, or if you have not completed your road to greatness, anything that contributes to that is worth buying. There's a couple things that we ought to look at here, which is also the daily special offers. These daily special offers um, give a chance to contain a legendary commander. My experience has been that it's something like for every 10 of these that you open, you get four or so of the legendary commander in total, right? So I I think I opened like one of these and got two and another one and got two. And then like for the next five or six, I got like all silver keys. Getting a silver key when the options are legendary commanders, epic commander sculptures or golden keys, it's like not, not the most amazing, right? Um, these bundles over here are also kind of interesting. Um, I thought they were kind of cool when they were working toward my road to greatness. Um, but when you look at like what really is the absolute maximum gem value, I'll point out that, like, gosh, the silver key is really not offering you a ton of value. And when you go up to the Treasure of Wisdom, right, you're getting some resources, and that looks pretty good. Um, as well as the Treasure of the King. And the Treasure of the King is where things start to get interesting because if you're buying these, you're getting less legendaries, right? Like you could have had three Treasures of Courage for the cost of one Treasure of the King. But these Action Point Potions are totally worth accumulating for special events, and the Golden Keys um, are worth a whole heck of a lot more to you than the Silver Keys, which are, like, they're not worthless... But um, they offer a lot of sculptures for commanders that once you hit the mid-game, you really don't need a ton of anymore. Um, meanwhile, the gold keys have the promise of potentially a legendary. So um, it's worth mentioning that these treasures here can only be purchased once a day. And um, they do count toward your road to greatness. So early on, they're pretty interesting. And my understanding is that this commander that's offered within the Warlord's Ambition rotates based on what kingdom you are in. So other kingdoms, as I understand, have Charles Martel. Currently, we have Cao Cao. Cao Cao is a commander we really like. But since we're spending very opportunistically in this game, we will probably personally, even though we're going for Cao Cao, and we're putting a lot into him, I will spend money on the Supply Depot before I start spending it here. Now, there's a couple other packs that are very worth talking about. The first of those packs is uh, when you hit milestones for either upgrading or unlocking legendaries. It has been my experience, I think, that like every time I unlock a legendary, I have the opportunity to spend five bucks for a pack that contains... Um, 10 legendary sculptures that can be applied to any legendary commander, among other things. So um, that pack is really, really good value um, because for five bucks, if we go in here and we look in the VIP shop, I mean, first of all, to get legendary commander sculptures, you need to have VIP 13 from here. So there's not a lot of places and opportunities to just trade money for these legendary commander sculptures. This is one of them, and I tend to think it's pretty good if you are going for legendary commanders. And I don't think that every player should be investing heavily in in legendary commanders. That's probably a topic for a separate video. Um, there's a couple other times where you will get offered packs, where yet again, I think if you can be patient with the VIP shop, you get better value. Um, and that includes when you upgrade your city hall at certain milestones. So, for instance, I got a pack that uh, I was offered a pack that cost 75 bucks when I just hit city hall level 23. Um, it contained a bunch of speed ups, contained a bunch of resources. And if you were in a hurry, it's a good pack. And the value's really there. If you're not in a hurry, the ways I've mentioned already, I think are better value. There are other times where you get packs that are sort of unique. For instance, um, when I uh, help defend an ally against a rally, 
uh, I had over 11,000 tier four. Well, they weren't all tier four. But I had 11,000 troops die. And uh, I was offered a pack then. Um, I'm sure there are other times where you get a pack where something interesting has happened. All of that to say, um, all of these bundles are when they when they show you a gem value, it is the full price gem value. And if you're a savvy buyer, you could instead get these things at the VIP shop. Not to be a broken record, I'm a pretty big fan of that VIP shop. Thank you, Lilith, for that and for all of the awesome packs that you offer. Another exception for buying packs might be around the holidays. We know that for Halloween, you had to buy some of those packs to get the uh, Halloween skin. Same is probably going to be true for the Thanksgiving skin, which is just around the corner. So, my friends, we did some interesting math here, and we busted a major myth. The king's coronation bundle is not necessarily the king. Now, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you've got any tips, please do leave them in the comments. I know that I'm not always perfect in my evaluation, and I could have done a little more math in this particular video. So if there's something I missed or advice that you would offer that's a little bit different, please do let me know. I want to get that correct information out there. Otherwise, my friends, if this has been helpful, please do like, share, and subscribe, and keep on having fun smashing the kingdom.